and then my green cart will be right So on today's agenda, we filled up the spray trailer, brought that out to where it needs to be. Um, I'm taking the batteries out of this tractor because they're toast. Bringing those in, getting new batteries. Probably bringing some other parts back, getting different parts. Parts run, put new batteries in this. And I did not know that this hole swings out like oh! on these tractors. It swings out, and those batteries are right in here. That is. Messy. Ugh. So now we're just gonna disconnect these bad boys and uh, see what we can do. Okay, this is mostly cleaned off, so I'm gonna take a video of it, see what it looks like, so I don't forget. Positives are back there. Negatives up here. That thing bolts on back there. They're right there. I don't know if I'm actually gonna have to take this off or not. And then there's that right there. Okay, I shouldn't forget how to put everything back together. Since it's so dirty, we're just gonna bring the whole service truck over there and blow it all out so I can clean and look in a clean area. Like three o'clock, I think I started on this at like one and it's three now. <sighs> and that is rusted out and then these are also rusted out. That one's even worse. So we ordered a new one of those and then we're gonna see if the batteries are even bad because those are bad enough that it could just be that. So we get to use big power tools today. All right, Matt got the nut ground off. We got that harness off of the battery. The batteries are all out. We're gonna pick up a new harness tomorrow, get the batteries tested tomorrow. So we only have to make one trip and then hopefully my tractor will be ready to roll. But other than that, I just have to strap up the hydraulics and then my scale. And then my green cart will be ready. And then in the shop, this is a bagger. Perry cut a hole in here because we're going to put a little sample spout so that we can pull a sample out instead of someone climbing all the way up there. Still, and instead of welding a whole pipe coupling on, you can buy these yeah. tank flanges and they then you can make a nice neat weld right around there oh yeah get painted a little loftness gray uh -huh. you're good to go you'll ever know it wasn't factory it is factory it's the new factory <laughs> and then Jaden and joel are out making hay tristan and matt are working on the combine still because they they keep finding issues with it and then Jaden is pulling the sickle mower into the shop again i don't know what he's doing I should probably go finish up my gray cart. All I had to do was strap the scale to the radio bracket. All right, the battery project got postponed over the weekend because I left the state. So um, we're getting back at it. Picked up the parts this morning. We got like a lot of rain. Now we're gonna put new batteries in here and a new battery harness because the harness in here is corroded. Brand new shiny harness oh yeah and those bolts aren't rusted out perfect Well, I turned the key and nothing's on. Oh. Well, now that's done. I don't know what's going on the rest of the day because we're kind of in that lull between harvest and like not wanting to start a bunch of projects right before harvest. So. 
I guess we'll see what the rest of the day pans out to be. Okay, the next project is fixing the gate indicator on the grain cart because when the gate opens, it's supposed to like move with the numbers so you know how open your gate is. But the one that I'm going to be using doesn't move, so I guess we're going to try to fix it. Okay, the gate got fixed. That is some matte engineering. Now we have two hydraulic hoses that are have holes in them, so we're going to cut those and then we need to go get them spliced. Okay, nothing really notable went on the rest of the day. We cleaned up the tractors and found more issues on my and found more issues on the tractor that I'm gonna be running a green card on. But we're out at the look how crooked that is. We're out at the field I stack bales on. We have not sprayed it yet because it got really wet. It rained a couple inches and it's still pretty muddy out here, honestly. But the grass is greening up and that's what we want to see because you don't want to spray something when it doesn't have enough stuff to, you know, soak all the juices in and kill it. So now I think we'll be good to go. I'll show you. So this is the little patch. It's not just sticks. We've got leaves coming on. It is still pretty muddy. I don't know, I could try it tomorrow, but it's a little squishy. And there is my crooked row of hay. <laughs> so today we are in the inside of the combine again. And we are trying to, I don't know what they were doing, but I'm the only one whose arms are long enough. Not the only one, but me and Matt are working on this. So Matt's arms are too short because there's bolts way in the back that you can't reach. I used my phone camera to see what the back of his bolt was because when we were tightening other things back there after adjusting some stuff, that bolt would not tighten. So we were trying to see if there was a nut on the back that we could grab onto or that was loose. We didn't know what it was, so phone camera came in handy for that to see what it was and then I get to show you guys what we were trying to do it's and then after we grabbed on onto it. it with a pair of vice grips because we thought if we held it or something that it would you know stay still and we'd able be able to screw it in but I just shredded the paint off so and then we loaded up grain bags my boss actually sells these he has high tech and up north I think it's just a dealer thing that um, he orders a bunch and then people can buy them through him the first harvest action of the year. We are not cutting. I think it is the 11th of August and I'm helping cut. So if you watched my harvest videos last year, these are the guys that had the cat combines that I was always making fun of and they're cutting peas right now. So we're hoping that we can move equipment up to the spot that we're cutting on on Sunday and then I'm running grain cart for them for a little bit today because I swung in and asked if they needed help, so. This is definitely not what I'm used to. The J&M augers don't adjust like the brands do, so that's a little weird. But other than that, it's really fun. We have two combines going in peas right now. They don't have auto steer. Looks a little dusty over there. So, they have a new combine, new to them, with a Macdon header, and then another one that is one of their older ones they have three combines so they're all cat guys over here 
And to wrap up today's video, here's a reveal of the slick new combine that was purchased for the farm. Very nice. They're pulling it into the shop to work on it since it was purchased after all the other combines were worked on. 9870.